नमस्कार वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एडिटोरियल ऑयल प्राइजेस हैज स्काई रॉकेटेड पेट्रोल इज सेलिंग एट ऑलमोस्ट रुपीज हंड्रेड एंड हंड्रेड प्लस इन मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टेट्स इन इंडिया एट एटलीस्ट सेवन स्टेट्स इन इंडिया और पेट्रोलियम मिनिस्टर सेज दैट यू से oil marketing companies are still recovering from the oil bond that upa government has issued so somewhere down the line he is blaming the upa government for the the price hike now in today's editorial let us understand what is oil bonds and let us understand whether is that the reason why the petrol prices and the the oil prices are up in india let's get right into the show so in one of his tweets mr dharmendra pradhan the honorable minister of petroleum says if you can please ask your boss as i presume he is talking to some congress uh, leader if you can please ask your bosses in the high command as to how high how they hike the price of petrol and diesel recently in karnataka this is what i am interested in he says the country and our omcs omcs i presume is oil marketing companies are also yet to recover from the shock of oil bonds worth rupees 1.4 lakh crores issued during the upa regime he says that the oil marketing companies are still reading under that 1.4 lakh crores oil bonds which were issued in upa regime i will read out one more tweet before i get into my story the second tweet i want to read out is uh, of mr amit malviya this gentleman is the head of uh, the it cell of uh, bharatiya janata party very senior leader he says the increased prices of petrol and diesel is a legacy of upa's mismanagement we are paying for the oil bonds that will come up for redemption starting financial year 21 till 26 which were issued by upa to oil companies for not increasing retail prices then bad economics bad politics okay now let us come to our story you see before the complete deregulation of diesel and petrol prices happened the oil marketing companies or the omcs had tremendous financial burden why they had tremendous financial burden their tremendous financial burden is because they had to regulate the price of petrol and diesel and the price just couldn't go up 23 times in 30 days like it is going now it couldn't go up so they had to regulate that price and finally the government had to give them fiscal subsidy the government had to give them money to ensure that they regulate the price this was the deal now in 2005 and 2010 between 2005 and 2010 the upa government issued bonds issued oil bonds to these companies worth 1.4 lakh crores now why were these oil bonds issued the oil bonds was issued as compensation and the government they were trying to delay the fiscal expenditure it is like paying an emi gaadi kharidne ka hai पांच लाख रुपए दस लाख रुपए टेन लाख रुपीज यू पे टूडे सो यू से नो आई विल पे टू लाख रुपीज टूडे एंड द रेस्ट आई विल पे इन इजी इंस्टॉलमेंट इन द नेक्स्ट फोर इयर्स दिस इज मोर लेस मोर लेस दिस इज व्हाट योर ऑयल बॉन्ड इज इट इज नॉट वेरी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड सो द गवर्नमेंट सेड दैट लिस वी विल पे यू इन इंस्टॉलमेंट एंड वी विल पे यू इंटरेस्ट विच वॉज सपोज टू एंड इन 2026 2026 we said we'll pay you everything now how was this supposed to be paid i will tell you that also acha now one more thing which is very important is this particular oil bond because of the bonds that we were issue it would have no bearing on our physical deficit it will be a loan to the country but it will not have bearing on the physical deficit for just for an information this is something which is called as below the line expenditure so this is uh, how technically it is but end of the day remember car remember emi this is what broadly it is theek hai na now let's go further now how were these uh, how were we supposed to pay for these bonds as on today the country has already paid in the last one decade we have already paid 10000 crores 
Now, in 2021, that is this year, we are supposed to pay two installments, both of 5,000 crores each. Matlab, this year, we are supposed to pay 10,000 crores. In 2023, we are supposed to pay 22,000 crores. In fact, 2023 also two installments. First is of 22,000 crores. Second is of 4,150 crores. In 2024, we are supposed to pay again three installments. One is 5,000 crores. Second is 10,306 crores. Third is 22,000 crores. In 2025, we are supposed to pay two installments. First is 11,257 crores. Second is 9,297 crores. 2026, we are supposed to pay three installments. First is 4,971 crores, 21,942 crores, and lastly, 10,000 crores. This is how we are supposed to pay back 1,30,923 lakh crores. This is how we are supposed to pay back. Mind you, we have paid back 10,000 crores in the last decade, as I mentioned to you. TK. Now, now let's come to all these arguments. All these arguments. Argument number one. The oil marketing companies are tremendously under pressure. Why? Because of these bonds. The government has to pay 10,000 rupees every year. Now, let me just draw your attention into one fact. The fact is, the government is estimated to have collected 3 lakh crores from taxes on petrol and diesel in 2021 alone. How much are you paying? You are paying 10,000 crores, 5,000 crores, 5,000 crores in 2021. And how much did you collect out of taxes? 3 lakh crore estimated figure. So, how can it be so much of a pressure for the government to give that 10,000 crores? I don't understand. My question number two is, you see, it is not that uh, this bond is something unique to uh, uh, oil. There were fertilizer bonds also which UPI had issued. There are fertilizer bonds also. In fact, the Modi government has issued bank recapitalization bonds to specific public sector banks as it looked to meet the large capital requirements of the public sector banks without allocating the same logic same logic without allocating from the budget they have issued recapitalization bonds to public sector banks same logic and this recapitalization bond is is almost 2.5 lakh crores double double of what the oil bond is 2.5 lakh crores of recapitalization bonds to bank paid interest of more than 20,000 crores over the last three years. We have already paid interest of 20,000 crores. So oil bond is something that is not very unique to the UPA government. Before I end, I want to also take one more tweet of Mr. Dharmendra Pradhan where he says, Rahul Gandhi must answer, says oil minister, on fuel price hike in Congress rule state. Now, let us look at seven states, seven states where the prices of oil, where the price of petrol, prices of petrol, let's just talk about petrol, prices of petrol has gone above 100 rupees per liter. Let us take Rajasthan. Who rules in Rajasthan? Congress rules in Rajasthan. Of course, Congress should be looking into seeing if the state government can subsidize. Maharashtra. Congress is a chota partner. Maharashtra is ruled by Shiva Sena, NCP and Congress. Madhya Pradesh is a BJP ruled state. Why hasn't the Honorable Minister called up Shivraj Chavan and said, Baba, listen, you do something about the taxes? Karnataka, Yadurappa, who state? BJP ruled state. Why did the government not call up? Why did the Honorable Minister not call up Yadurappa and say, do something about it? Bihar, the dominant political party in Bihar is Bharatiya Janata Party. The government is JDU, the chief minister is from JDU, but it is a JDU BJP government. He has not called Nitish Kumar either. Telangana is TRS and Andhra Pradesh is YSR. These are the seven states where the petrol prices are more than 100 rupees. Number one. Number two. When this government came into existence in 2014 saying that petrol ka bhao 
दिस इज वॉट यू है जस्ट हेयर इट ऐसे नई पूरी ताकत से बताइए पेट्रोल के दाम कम हुए कि नहीं हुए डीजल के दाम कम हुए कि नहीं हुए आपके जेब में थोड़ा बहुत पैसा बचने लगा कि नहीं बचने लगा आपका फायदा हुआ कि नहीं हुआ वेन यू आर सेंग दिस डिंट ही नो दैट देर वॉज वन पॉइंट फोर लैख करोर बॉन्ड ऑयल बॉन्ड दैट वॉज इश्यूड सो वेन ही मेड दैट स्टेटमेंट हैड ही जस्ट मेड इट विदाउट एनी प्लान to see that uh, these bonds are paid or you know there is a plan to pay these bonds or whatever 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 was the statement just made randomly i mean when i say that i am going to get a price down i would have a plan in place isn't it so the first thing before i have a plan in place i would see what the current situation is of the market isn't it i would see what am i supposed to pay how am i supposed to get how am i increasing my profitability how am i doing so on and so on and so forth i will do all my plan and then i will come and say that listen i am going to increase the profit or i am going to subsidize i am going to reduce the price that's when i am going to say that isn't it so how did the honorable prime minister make a statement that wo price kam hua ki nahi hua how did he make that he knew that this bond was there number 2 number 3 is if i blame the opposition i would blame the opposition for their in ineffectiveness absolutely ineffectiveness to combat these price hikes to combat this price hike the way bharatiya janata party in 2013 14 had combated the upa government their leaders had combated the upa government this particular opposition is absolutely ineffective so let me conclude the government of india has earned around 3 lakh crores out of taxes from petrol and diesel in fact the taxes for petrol is around 58% of the retail selling price and diesel around 52% of the retail selling price the government of india has earned 3 lakh crore estimated 3 lakh crores in 2020 21 the government of india has to spend 10000 crores in 2021 to furnish the oil bonds they have already spent 10000 crores in the last decade 10000 crores this year so 3 lakh crore out of taxes from oil 10000 crores which they have to pay for oil bonds you decide whether the cost of petrol or the hike in petrol prices is due to the oil bonds introduced by upa the decision is yours till i see you next time namaskar pata hai in sab logon mein ek cheez common hai guess kariye kya nahi pata chaliye ek hint deti hu ye sab aapke parivar se jude hain फिर भी नहीं पहचाना आपने इन्हें चलिए कोई बात नहीं वैसे भी ये लोग पर्दे के पीछे ही तो काम करते थे इन सब की डेथ हो गई है कोविड से ताकि आप और आपका परिवार सेफ रह सके और यही तो है परिवार का मतलब अपनों की रक्षा करना जो हमारे लिए जान दे सकते हैं वो अपने सगी नहीं तो फिर कौन है मुंबई पुलिस